Can you live stream using a Starlink for RV internet connection? Yes, you can. What should you use in terms of hardware and software? Hmm. Hmm. We've put our own Starlink to the ultimate test, streaming over a thousand hours of content, and we've cracked the code to 24 seven streaming with no disconnects. Hell yeah. But before we kick things off, if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on our Starlink videos and internet how to's. Let's talk about our setup. We use OBS with Advanced Scene Switcher, Streamlabs Chatbot with the OBS Remote Parameter Script, Stream Elements, Restream, and Speedify. This app is a game changer. It's the only one that lets you combine your Starlink with multiple internet sources to create a bonded super connection that's faster, more secure, and super reliable. Oh, wow. We're using it to combine our Starlink connection with secondary DSL connection, basically to give us a little more bandwidth and to act as a backup in case the Starlink disconnects. And uh, it will. It's a must have in your live streaming arsenal. Depending on where you're located, Starlink is capable of running a 1080p live stream a lot of the time. However, it can just be so variable and flaky that no matter what settings you're streaming with, it won't stand for long. But first things first, in order to have a reliable live stream that doesn't disconnect, we had to lower the streaming resolution, bitrate, a few other settings so that our weakest backup connection was able to step in and blow when Starlink inevitably drops out. It's inevitable. So first, we lowered our streaming resolution from 1080p to 720p. We tried using OBS's beta dynamic bitrate setting, which we hoped would let the bitrate go high when the connection is good and then drop down low enough to keep the stream up when the connection gets worse. But we were still seeing the stream go down when Starlink would disconnect, and Speedify logs were suggesting that the second connection simply couldn't handle the amount of packets being sent through. So after that, we settled on lowering the bitrate to 1500 kilobits per second, 1.5 megabits, which should be low enough that even when Starlink goes completely down, the stream can still run through our weaker 1.5 megabits DSL connection. On OBS, we also found that the auto reconnect setting, which we set to attempt 200 times with minimum delay, so that OBS will try as hard as possible to reconnect the stream when it goes down. There's also a cool Twitch feature that we're using some of the time called disconnect protection which will step in if your stream goes down for less than 90 seconds. It just shows a placeholder image until your stream reconnects so you don't completely lose your viewers and have to restart the stream. So smart. But it's not yet compatible with Restream, so we can't use it while simultaneously streaming to Twitch and YouTube only while OBS is streaming directly to Twitch. In conclusion, live streaming Starlink is definitely possible. However, since dropouts can happen, it's crucial to have a secondary connection in your toolkit. This way your stream can stay connected and your audience stays engaged. It's all about being prepared and giving your viewers the quality content they deserve.